plan today? The plan is to um, do some more nipple percent. So I'm just going to do it. That's what I've decided to do. Let's just run one. It's been a while. Um, I believe the strats we're using are go through cap as normal, pick up a couple coins along the way, go through cascade using the Koopa free running jump, um, get the Luigi, then do um, Dino Skip Skip Part 2 to get to Madame Brutal, then pick up 10 coins from the bush, get above a high cliff, um, and then into sand we get both Luigi's and the Sphinx Moon, and sometimes we get um, the coins on top of the tower in sand, Toasterina Town, because we need them. Found that most runs. We need them. So we're going to do our best here. Great. Good start. Kind of messed up the triple jump, but it's fine. Oh, I forgot to get the coins there. This is too short of a category. We're just going to reset. I should probably do a no reset run to start the day, though. That would make more sense. Too late now. We've started the day. And it's been a fat reset. Three, two, one, go. Still learning? Yeah, I mean, I might try out the, the really hard jump um, in Cascade. I'm not sure yet. I don't know. I might give it a shot. If someone smart comes into chat, I'll give it a shot. Someone like super Odyssey knowledge oriented, I don't know. Nice. This is a great start. Best start I've ever had, actually. This might be, be like a gold cap if I play well in a frog room. That takes away the gold. Clean movement at the start, though, which is nice. If only I could ever hit topper, then it'd be a gold. That is a gold. At least I think it is. Not 100% sure when I'm playing nipple percent, but I'm pretty sure that's gold. I've only done like 10 runs of this. Is that gold? Actually, it looks kind of green. You'll have to let me know. All right, none of none of the run matters except for uh, 
hitting DSS and Koopa free running jump. And it's been a while since we've done that. So let's see what happens. I'm going to try and spin pound here. I never try and spin pound here because the angle's really tight. Or you have to hold straight forward. But I'm going to try it. Nice. That looked good. Oh my god, we hit that first try, though. I don't even care that we fell. I'm just happy that we hit that first try and that we're going to have some good runs today. I don't even care. That is fine by me. Let's have some good runs today and let's keep hitting that first try. Really? I'm surprised I didn't get the cap jump there. Must have been like because I had a, such a weird jump. I'm not going to make that. Oh, and I'm not going to make it back either. I mean, this is obviously not going to PB, but let's just practice a little bit and see how many coins we would have had. That's not going to make it. What? What happened to my angle? What happened to the camera? All of it exploded on me. Wow, this Koopa free running jump is harder than I remember. I thought the only hard part was the uh, DSS part two. Nice. It's a good angle. No, not good enough. That's it. Oh, uh, I went all in for that. All right, all right, we'll call it there. No, we should we should hit that. We should hit that once before we start again, probably. Hit it just one time. <laughs> Hard bonk to do. No. No. Nope. Nice. I'm going to make that. I can make that as long as I'm clean with it. Oh, oh, <laughs> already finished Cascade. Nice. We need to hit this jump one time before we do another run. jump is harder than I remember. It's harder to make it with a single jump than I remember. Because I know you can make it with a single jump, but clearly I'm not. Double jump should be good enough. Yeah, double jump is definitely good enough. That's going to make it easy. Okay, that would have made it. We're, we're calling it there. I can make that. We gotta nail that jump a couple times. 
We'll see what we can do. All right, let's hit DSS part two, first try, because that'll be an insta PB if that happens. I just forgot how to play cat and I jumped and I crouched and I panicked good thing that only loses what two seconds one second I mean, it won't matter it won't matter unless it does you know great playing well I was scared I wouldn't make the long jump. I probably could have, but I was scared. Oh man, that's a lot of coins to miss. We'll see how that affects us. Please don't bonk. Maybe I should have gotten that heart. I don't really know. I just kind of wanted a gold. So I did. I don't know if it's a gold. But we'll find out. Oh, it's a gold. Bam. It means we're going to PB. Uh, as long as I skip cutscenes. Oh man, that's bad. Stupid bonk. That bonk just makes you feel bad. It's not a big time loss, but it's a big hit to the mental. You hate to see it. pound great hi Xander how you doing hope you're having a great day oh dang maybe I should have gone for the rainbow spin after the wall jump Unfortunate. Try again. Oh man. I didn't even go for a rainbow spin. I wasn't even really close. I didn't realize how necessary the rainbow spin was. You do a backflip. I thought backflip. Like you could easily make it. What are you doing? The full game speedrun? No, I'm just doing nipple percent. Everything ends at sand. Cap cascade done. Um, I've done lots of any percent runs before, but that's not what I'm doing. Well, the run ends in sand. The whole run ends in sand. I don't have to do any more work. 
the speed run will end after nine minutes once I buy the boxer shorts in the Sand Kingdom. The goal of the speed run is to get a hundred coins and then buy um, buy the boxer shorts so you can see Mario's nipples. That's the goal. Nipple percent. Truly the best category, most competitive category, most important category of SMO. Uh, I haven't liked what I've been, it's been happening, so let's just kind of get it right. I'm not going to PB this run, but I'm just, uh, practicing for when I do, because it's too late for me now. I mean, this is the slowest run ever. So that gives me 200 coins. Uh, I should get these. Thanks, Mr. Chomp. And bye. Then we gotta make a big jump here. This is the hardest part of the entire run. Okay, we didn't get it there. Oh, I almost land. You have to land on the bone for uh, Dino Skip Skip, as all the runners lovingly call it. Dang. Nope. Yeah, this is the hardest part of the entire run. I haven't hit this even yet today. I think I've hit it once. It is looking like a fat reset. I could agree with that. This is not, not your highest quality run I've ever seen. How did I not grab that wall? All right. So clearly, I just can't do DSS at all today. Yet, I don't care. We're doing another one with no practice. That jump is hard. There's no cutscene there. I don't know what I'm doing. So what do you mean by cascade then done? Um, what I mean is um, they made, a, made it, they found a new skip in any percent that you can finish the game right after cascade. No, I'm just kidding. Um, hope I didn't. <laughs> I wonder if I got you with that. All right. So uh, so the the goal of the run this is the nipple percent category. The goal is not to beat the game but rather to see Mario's nipples as fast as possible. So our goal uh, is to get 100 coins, and we do that by first beating Cap, then beating Cascade, and then going into Sand, getting more coins, and buying it. So the time stops once I buy the thing in the Sand Kingdom. Um, the reason we go to Sand is because there's a lot of coins there, so it's just kind of the best move. Uh, this is a great start. So our plan is to beat Cap, split, beat Cascade, split, get up to 100 coins, buy the thing, and then split and done. Uh, why roll cancel anyway? That's the plan. A thousand coins. Do I keep saying a hundred? Do I say a hundred literally every time? Yeah, a thousand coins. You have to pick up a thousand coins. You have to pick up... Uh, we pick up about... Um, let's see. So in, in, in cap, we get around 60 or 70. And then in cascade, we pick up about 300. 200 of which all come from a uh, Luigi. 
and um, in uh, sand we get two Luigi's and the Sphinx room. So that's about 680 coins. And you kind of have to scrounge around for some coins during the run um, and collect what you can. And beating Cap beating Cascade really fast is really hard. Um, the the world record does uh, Dino Skip Skip, which is insanely insanely hard. Only uh, a trick done in any percent if you already have a sub hour time. Um, insanely hard Dino Skip Skip. Um, so we do something a little bit easier. We do a jump. Uh, there's two parts of Dino Skip. We do a jump that that leads us to um, Dino Skip Part Two without doing Dino Skip Part 1. So, you, uh, yeah, I'm only going to sand to get coins. That's correct. There aren't really enough coins in Cascade for me to just play through Cascade. Also, yeah, that was a huge flow, but whatever. If we stay in Cascade, we'll never get enough coins. It's just not happening. So what we do is we make this jump. That's the first hard jump, but not nearly as hard as the next one. We get 200 coins from this Luigi right here. Uh, let's pick up some coins along the way. Um, this is where, this is the hardest jump in the whole run. Uh, we're not gonna make that. Oh, bad angle. I should have picked a more up angle. So yeah, if I make that jump, it's a PB, because in my PB I hit that second try, and that's the hardest part of the whole run. Man, that is hard. I should just prepare for the Koopa free running jump more often, so I can hit it more consistently. Oh man. What do you need coins for? When do you want to play Terraria? That's an amazing jawline. What is chat right now? <laughs> um, that was an incredible triple jump. Y'all have no idea what's going on. What do you need coins for? So, um, once we buy... The, the whole goal of this category of Super Mario Odyssey is to see Mario's nipples. That's the whole goal. And there's a shop... Uh, the way to do that is is you go to the shop and you use a thousand coins and you purchase an outfit that lets you do that, lets you see Mario's nipples. That's the whole whole goal. That's all we're doing. So, what I'm doing right now is trying to beat Cascade so then we can get to Sand so we can get a billion coins and buy the moon or and not buy the moon, buy the outfit. We got stuffed. When do I want to play Terraria? I want to play Terraria um, whenever. I'm, I'm happy to play tomorrow or the next day or um, whenever you're free. Um, I don't know if uh, weekends are easier for you than I can do weekends. I can, I can do really anytime. And uh, thank you for the jawline compliment because uh, I deserve it. You're free today. Oh, okay. Um... Let's see. I think I can do today. You would mean like in like the next 20 minutes we just start playing? Oh, man. Eh. Yeah. I'm not hitting this very well. I could just play Terraria. I want to finish one run. So how about this is a no reset and then, and then I'll move on to Terraria. So I'm, I'm going to beat this run. Whether it's the last thing I do. Oh, there we go. That's the rainbow spin I've been wanting. And that's Dino Skip Skip. Let's go. That's the fastest way up to Madame Brutal while grabbing the Luigi. Um, other than the full DSS, which I cannot do. We gotta get more coins here. Missed some there, but I get some from this heart, which is nice.
Another heart here. What? You're joking. Oh my god, I lost so much time. What are you talking about? Jesus Christ. So leaving um, Cascade, we'd like to have 320 coins. That's optimal. We have 306, so we're 14 coins short. There are 10 coins right next to the Odyssey. That's easy. And um, six coins I could really get anywhere. I think the fastest place where I usually get coins is in Sand Kingdom. We throw our hat on a tower and it gives us 10 coins. So I think that's how I'll get the extras. But first we gotta get one more moon so we can get out of this kingdom. Nice. All right, only two minutes behind PB. PB just passed, actually. I think we're in great shape to PB here. <laughs> Things are looking wonderful. I'm sure the PB is coming. Yeah, no chance. Okay, only two minutes, two and a half minutes behind in a nine minute run. Everything's fine. Let's play through sand because I haven't played through sand today. Because, man, hitting DSS part two is really, really hard. Action guide skip. So our goal is to pick up 680 coins, 690, uh, 684 coins. So we're going to do that starting here, getting um, 200 right there. That's 200. That will slowly be given to us. Okay, that just gave us um, 10, I think. Yeah, that gave us 10. So now we just need 480 more. Here's 200. Uh, how do you get the invisible outfit? Oh, that's a great question. I think it's you have to beat darker side. I think it's just beat darker side is the whole thing to get the invisible outfit. Could be wrong, but I think it's just beat darker side. Menuing is hard. That's it. Time. Bam. We've bought the boxer shorts, and now... The glorious goal of the whole run, Mario's nipples are upon us. Beat Darker Side, that was right. Nice. Man, I want to play more, but I also, also want to play Terraria. Man, I have too many good options. I think I'll play Terraria. Dylan's not always free. 
And uh, I'll play Odyssey again maybe tomorrow. Who knows? Beat Darker Side? All right, I'll beat Darker Side real fast. Just a quick, quick beat of Darker Side, and then I'll boot up Terraria. Would you guys watch Terraria, or should I just play offline? How do you get to Darker Side? You have to get 500 moons. 500. Once you get 500 moons, you can unlock this kingdom, Darker Side. Go there, and it's pretty hard. Man. Probably the hardest moon in the game. Probably. I think so. I mean, I don't know. Breakdown Road with no hat is pretty hard. Um, what else is hard? Um, volleyball. Volleyball's really hard. Those are probably the hardest moons in the game. I just vectored that jump off the other frog. I'm sick. Oh, I'm sick, dude. So our goal is to get up there. And the way to get up there is go down this pipe. Let's do it. This is Darker Side. Probably the hardest challenge in the game. Hopefully, I'll just make it look easy. Look like a cakewalk uh, with my incredible Odyssey skills. But we'll see. Whoa. Wow, I'm just getting hit. Alright, whatever. None of it matters. There's, there's hearts here. Nice. So there is two towers, because when I did it, going up the tower with rabbits or whatever it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's dark side is the big um, is the big rabbit boss fight where you do one after another in the mo on the moon. That's dark side and darker side is different. Yeah, the tower with the rabbits is dark side, and this is the darker side kingdom. Just a different kingdom entirely. One you unlock uh, more early than the other. You unlock dark side first. You get darker side later. Oh my god, was that close. Alright, we can do this. Let's go, Mr. Mr. Upper... There we go. And no capture that time, too. Too easy. Alright, let's go, Yosh. Let's do this.
Xander, have you played a lot of uh, Super Mario Odyssey or not a lot? Dylan's beating the game, what a beast. It's just hard to get moons. Yeah, some of the moons are really hard to get. Some of them are sitting right out in the open. But others are really, really hard to get. This one is the hardest one to get in the entire game. It's really not easy. Oh, I messed it up. Alright, that means we're playing the sub area. It's possible to fly all the way over there. Um, however, I failed that. I still haven't triggered the thing. Absolute god. Didn't even trigger any lasers. Alright, this part's hard, because suddenly it goes from health matters to health doesn't matter. It's just going to be hard. Dang. Dang, I suck. Alright, let's just play let's just play some Terraria. Are you uh are you here, Dylan? Actually, uh, slice Mario's head off. You know what's up? Are there checkpoints in Dark World? I assume you mean Darker Side? There are no checkpoints in all of Darker Side. Zero checkpoints in all of Darker Side. You gotta do the whole thing in one go. That's what makes it hard. Do you play this game a lot, Xander? Do you uh have you have you beaten it? Yeah, Dark Dark World is in this one.
Oh man. Gotta go back for the fireball. I've never completed it. Um, like getting a hundred percent. You've only played the campaign. Gotcha. Yeah, beating it a hundred percent is like overrated. You don't really need to beat it a hundred percent. A lot of the moons aren't that fun and aren't really cool. The hard ones are pretty fun. I would say most most difficult moons are worth getting just because it feels really good to get them after you uh, after you finally beat them. Um, but going for 100% is kind of unnecessary. Beating all of the hint arts, those are so annoying. You might as well just look them all up. I don't know. I think hint art is dumb, and I think some other moons are dumb. So personally, I don't really enjoy getting every single moon. But I've done it twice. So, um, you know, who am I to judge? I prefer most other moons to hint art and to, um, you know, uh... I prefer most moons to hint art, and uh, what was the other one I said? Just some other ones, I don't know. There are some dumb ones. I'm not going to make that. Alright, we're playing through regular mode. Easy mode. Whoop. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm just gonna tank the damage. Have I never talked to the Sphinx in one? Let's see. Oh. Uh. Did I just restart? Hopefully not. All right, I think it's time to just call it for the day. I'll come back to more, uh, more speed runs soon. Um, yeah, of course I can read Chinese, idiot. Um, yeah, I think I'll probably just call it there, and um, I'll stream more nipple percent. I'll stream more any percent, and I'll stream more SMO in general. Um, but for now, I'm gonna play Terraria. I haven't decided whether I'll play it on stream or not. Eh. Not psyched about it, but I could. I don't really know what four languages these are. I think I have a guess. Okay, so English, French, French but Canadian, um, Dutch. Um, Dutch and German aren't the same thing, right? Am I crazy? Are they the same thing? No, nah, probably not. Dutch. Um, Spanish in Spain, Spanish in Latin America, Italian, Netherlands, Russian, Japanese, simplified Chinese, probably less simplified Chinese, whatever, complex Chinese, whatever the regular version is, and Korean. I think that's all of them. I should know that probably, but as an American, that's not something I'm required to know. Traditional, is that what it's called? Traditional Chinese? I guess Ethan knows. Ethan, you're a loser. Well, thanks for coming. Controls. Oh, I can change camera sensitivity. You can turn off motion control. Oh my god. Eh, we'll call it there. Thanks for coming to the stream. Have a great day.